read for us the eulogy of our beloved mother, Karimu. Our mother's life, a beautiful soul. Mrs. Mary Agnes Jambi Gogi was known by many names. Mwalimu, Mwalimu, Ninawa Garasho, Ninawa Mwedia, and more recently, Ninawa Bishop and Ninawa Governor. From her childhood, Mary Agnes Njambi was a quiet and sensitive girl. Born on 18th May, 1934, she was the last born of Muse Joroge Kamenyere and Waidera Joroge. Her siblings are Danson Mwendia, Frederick Kumu, Francis Maderi, and Rachel Rakeri, one boy, all late. They all had a great love for her. Her mother, Waidera Joroge, passed on early in her life, and she then was taken into the family of her brother, Francis and Laura. Our grandfather, Joroge, knew the importance of education as he had worked in Mudangari in Nairobi, where he first learned of the Catholic faith. He therefore strived to educate his children, and moreover was a pioneer in sending a girl, Mary Jambi, to school. She started her primary school days in Gakarara Primary School, later going to Mogairi for her secondary school. At that time, very few girls in her home area, in her home area Keguya, Keguya, had gone to school. Mom kept friendships forever. She made life-lasting friends in school. She got to know of the Catholic faith, first through her father, Wuka Joroge, but also through her contact with the consolata missionaries in Roshu Parish, and in the school. Her devotion and piety only grew in Mugairi girls. Her personal elegance and responsibility made many of her classmates admire her. As she would narrate, her deep love for the Blessed Virgin Mary started in those years where she began to say her daily rosary. Her human qualities of simplicity, honesty, diligence and compassion always stood out. Her career choice to become a teacher was spurred by her desire to help and uplift children. She proceeded to St. Cecilia Teachers College in Madari Neri in 1956. Her works of mercy, especially in attending to sick and needy, was outstanding. Many narrate on how she would give assistance quietly from school days. It is during her college days that she became a leader of Catholic action. She was also one of the founding members of Catholic Women Association, CWA, in Nyeri Diocese. They celebrated their wedding with the love of her life, Mr. Thomas Ngoge, on 5th December, 1959, in Rosho Parish. Her love for her family was always evident. She loved her husband, Thomas, truly and she always cared for his well-being up to the last moments. They were blessed with eight children, Boniface Garasho, Patrick Njoroge, Saint Governor Central Bank of Kenya, Archbishop Anthony Muheria, Archbishop of Nyeri, Angela Wanjiko, Joyce Waidera, 
Edith Nyagathu, Mary Wamboi, and Edwin Mwendia. Her last born son, Edwin Mwendia, was her favorite. But God took him on 1st February 1996. He was an exemplary son in many ways, but above all, he knew her heart. Even in those moments, her faith was evident. Her first teaching assignment was Russia Girls, where she was soon appointed as the first headmistress at barely 24 years of age. Her entire teaching career is marked by a continuous concern to uplift her pupils, especially those that came from challenged families, and to instill Christian devotion and values to every single one. For her, each child was special. She was an excellent teacher and headed Ngararia Primary School for over 10 years, where she mentored many. Mary Jambi was a great lay leader in the diocese. She continued her leadership in Catholic action for a long time. She gave many workshops and seminars. In the holy year of 1975, she was privileged to make a pilgrimage to Rome with other lay leaders of the diocese, where she had a chance to greet Pope Paul VI. She loved St. John Paul II, with whom she shared a birthday. In her various roles as mother, teacher, and community leader, she had a soft spot for the very needy. She was always elegant and emphasized cleanliness. She did not like showy and expensive things, but always chose elegance over luxury. In her retirement, she became even more involved in community groups and activities with other women and in various development projects in the county. Her humility was truly outstanding. She did not like too many praises on her achievements. She particularly emphasized to her children the value of respect for all, irrespective of their status. She nurtured the vocations of many priests and religious. She was also a column of support for married couples or those called to the way of married life. Mom followed with as much interest the lives and professions of all her children. She especially celebrated the gift of a priest and bishop from among her children. One of those answered prayers was for her son, the governor of Central Bank. She loved to listen to details of their work, offering to pray for success and progress. She has suffered illness for over 30 years which became acute in the past 10 years. When her health deteriorated in 2018, she was flown to South Africa, where she was treated, accompanied by her husband and children. Her resilience and fighting spirit was amazing to see. The family attended to her illness and sought all medical assistance to get her treatment. We are indebted to all the caregivers, nurses and doctors, especially Dr. Daniel Githegi, her personal doctor, with whom she had a special bond. Our dear mom bore her suffering, pains and discomfort with a Christian spirit. 
we are especially grateful to our sister Joyce, who cared for her mom amazingly in her last years of illness. The Eucharist was always her strength. She always looked forward to receiving Jesus in the Eucharist, which she did at home once or twice a week in the years of her sickness. She has received the anointing of the sick several times and even during the last admission. Mary Jambi Mary Jambi's love of our mother Mary made her pray and follow closely the project of the construction of the shrine of Our Lady of Protection in Kitui. Her joy was visible during the dedication and opening of the shrine on 25th June 2021. She was still looking forward to pay our mother Mary another visit in Museve but Our Lady came to meet her, so she now sees her in heaven, close to God's throne. She went to the Lord on 15th May 2023, while undergoing treatment in Aga Khan Hospital. Our dear Mary, dearly beloved wife, our dear mom, Shosho, sister, auntie, grand Shosho, and friends to so many. May God reward you in heaven, and may the seeds you have planted bear a huge harvest. We will cherish your life and qualities. May God make them continue living in our own lives. Amen. I have fought the good fight to the end. I have run the race to the finish. I have kept the faith. Thank you so much, Ms. Catherine, for taking us through.